hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel happy new week guys i hope you had a great weekend mine was awesome welcome and welcome back to another edition on immigrate with ami today's video is about nova scotia canada a lot of you have reached out to me via email saying you love canada you want to immigrate to canada with your family but you don't want to go through the express entry program if you're such a person here i've got you covered in this video we'll be reviewing one of nova scotia immigration stream that do not require applicants to have an express entry profile keep in mind that if you'll be targeting this immigration stream right ensure you are up to 21 to 55 years you have at least one year of work experience, a high school diploma certificate, and other eligibility criteria that we are going to be sharing with you guys in this video. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this juicy information. Keep in mind that we've made a lot of research work for you guys the whole of this week. So hit the like button so that YouTube can keep recommending my videos to others if you haven't subscribed yet hit the subscribe button below and ensure that your bell notification is turned on please share my videos with your friends and your loved ones and keep watching hello guys you're welcome to immigrate with army today we want to talk about immigration opportunity in canada and we'll be focusing on one of the provinces in canada as you know, Canada is one of our favorite countries when we speak about immigration because they have a lot of extensive immigration programs and a huge number of foreign nationals have been taking advantage of these opportunities for several years. And we know, according to the government policy, that this will continue into the nearest future as well. So you can also take advantage of these opportunities. We have done extensive research and we've shared a lot of information on the federal programs we've also done a lot of videos on provincial programs as well as community driven programs i want to talk about a provincial program which is a little bit different from most provincial nomination programs that we have highlighted one of the main differences is that this one does not require you to have an express entry profile in most of the provincial programs after you get a provincial nomination certificate it still goes back to your express entry profile so you get like an additional 600 points and then you can go through the invitation to apply on the express entry platform but this provincial nomination stream that we are discussing today does not require you to have an express entry profile and becoming a permanent resident through this immigration stream does not require you to have an express entry profile in any way okay so this is a program that is a standalone program that does not have any connection with the canada express entry system today we are talking about the province of nova scotia which is one of the provinces in canada what you might not know is that nova scotia is one of the provinces that has one of the most extensive provincial nomination programs across canada maybe you also don't know that nova scotia alone has about nine different provincial nomination streams through which one can become a canadian permanent resident nine different programs okay that you can apply for if you qualify for these programs okay so they have what they call the nova scotia labor market priority stream they have the labor market priorities stream for physicians they have the physician stream they have the entrepreneur stream they have the international graduate entrepreneur stream they have the international graduate in demand stream they have the skilled worker stream they have the occupations in demand stream and they have the nova scotia experience which is like more or less their own type of express entry okay so they have nine different programs and we'll share the link where you can review all of this program because you might actually qualify for more than one of these programs and you can utilize this benefit that nova scotia is providing to international applicants who would want to immigrate to that province okay now in the course of this video i'll be showing you some useful information about this particular program that we are highlighting today we want to talk about 
the occupations in demand stream okay which is a very important and i think it's a high priority immigration stream for nova scotia because this is based on some occupations which are critically in demand in the province of nova scotia okay so we have the general skilled worker stream so if you are a skilled worker with some form of experience and then if you meet some other requirement you can apply for that general stream in addition to this general skilled worker stream they have created a special immigration stream to focus on the in demand occupations there is a certain list of occupations in nova scotia for which there is labor shortage and employers in that province are struggling to fill up job positions in those critical sectors so the government in response to that they have created this special occupations in demand stream to be able to support those employers and then to be able to ensure that it's easier for them to actually hire people and then those people become permanent residents and they can actually settle long term in the province of nova scotia while supporting the local businesses in that particular province so that's the overall goal of these occupations in demand it's a response to what is happening in the labor market and the list of occupations in demand is usually changing from time to time based on what is happening at that point in the province so a particular job might be listed you know among the occupations in demand maybe in this year next year it might not be on that list if they already have enough people in that occupation so it's something that is always changing based on the labor market conditions and the economic state of the province of nova scotia so let's take a look at the list of occupations in demand so the first one is nurse aides okay and you can see here the associated knock codes which are very important because when you apply for this permanent residency program of course you would need to select the knock code that you are applying under okay so we have the nurse aides we have the food and beverage servers we have food counter attendant kitchen helpers and related support occupations we have the light duty cleaners we have the transport truck drivers transport truck drivers is one of the jobs for which there is actually a lot of shortage across different provinces in canada so we usually see this particular knock 73300 for transport truck drivers as one of the occupations in demand in different provinces one of the other jobs in this list is heavy equipment operators construction trades helpers and laborers currently they have seven different jobs that they have listed under the occupations in demand as i said earlier on maybe in another six months maybe in another one year this list might change but for now these are the list of jobs that are listed as occupations in demand in nova scotia and there is a permanent residency pathway for these job occupations that does not require you to have an express entry profile basically i've shown you the list of the occupations in demand the next thing is that what are the general requirements for this immigration program okay because it's good for us to review the eligibility requirement for this program so the first eligibility requirement is you would need to have a full-time permanent job offer from a nova scotia employer in any of those priority jobs which i've listed for you earlier on those seven occupations okay so you would need a job offer on any of those seven jobs the reason why this requires a job offer is because this is based on occupations in demand they really need people to work in these sectors and they need you to already have a job offer from an employer in the province of nova scotia then the next thing is that you must have at least one year work experience in that particular job area okay so it can be more than one but not definitely not less than one year work experience and you will need to show proof of your work experience later on when you want to submit your application it must be between 21 to 55 years old you must have at least a high school diploma okay you must have appropriate training skills or accreditation for the job so there are certain jobs that require additional training or skills or certifications or licenses you would need to show proof of those the next one is you must have and you must prove language ability equal to canadian language benchmark level four even if your first language is english or french the last one is that you must show enough financial resources 
to successfully settle in Nova Scotia and for the financial resources, they use the same proof of fund level with the Federal Express Entry System. Whatever financial resources that the Federal Express Entry System requires is what this program also requires. Even though this program is not affiliated with Express Entry and applying under this program does not require you to have an Express Entry profile, but you need to show enough financial resources for you and your family to settle down successfully in Nova Scotia. If you have all of these requirements that were listed here, for you to apply, all you have to do is to create an online application and attach the necessary document. Before I show you the online application link, it's good for you to also download this application guide. So they have provided a free application guide that can guide you. It tells you exactly what type of document you would need to show. It tells you how to get those documents. It tells you how to submit those documents. It also tells you how this process is managed. Okay, the step by step for this particular immigration program. You would need documents related to your work experience. So you are showing that you have at least one year experience in that job area. You would need to show proof of that, okay, through an official letter from your previous employer in that employer letter. You also need documents related to your education and training. You need documents related to your ability to communicate in English or French. As you can see here, you need to have like a Canadian language benchmark level four or higher. This is also a list of the language proficiency test that they accept. So they accept the IELTS, CELPIP, TEF, and TCF. You also need to show documents related to your identity and that of your family. So your passport, if you have a spouse and if you have children, you would need some document to show the link that you have with them. So a copy of a marriage certificate, copies of birth certificate for dependent children, copy of custody document and permissions for the child to come to Canada, copies of adoption papers if you adopted a child. They will need some document related to immigration status. For example, if you are living in a country that is not your country of citizenship, you will need to show that you have a legal status in that particular country. Okay, so you can check out, you know, this list for all of the requirements. Now, how does the application system work? The first step is that you will gather the requirement and apply online. I'm going to show you and we'll drop the relevant link in the video description. So after you apply online and attach the document, they will then assess your document usually within a period of three months. And then once your application is successful, you are going to get a nomination from the province of Nova Scotia. After you get that nomination, unlike other programs where that nomination takes you back to your express entry profile, this particular nomination allows you to apply directly to IRCC Canada for permanent residence. And then at the same time that you are applying for a permanent residence, since you already have a job offer, you can also apply for an expedited work permit that allows you to come to Canada with your family on that work permit while your application for permanent residence is still in process okay so you will come to canada directly as a foreign worker with an ongoing application for permanent residency which is one of the benefit of this program you don't need to wait in your home country or in your current country of residence until your pr application is approved you can immediately move to canada under an expedited work permit and then you start working for that employer while you are waiting for your permanent residency to be approved. The only thing you need to do is that once your permanent residency is approved, you would need to inform the province of Nova Scotia that your status has changed from a temporary foreign worker to a permanent residence. Okay, so basically, this is the difference and this is the added benefit that this program has in comparison with other provincial nomination program. This one does not require you to have and express entry profile. So basically, we've been able to review this immigration stream, which I think you can apply for. Now, you can also understand that there are a lot of ongoing programs at the federal level to support provinces. One of them is the recognized employer pilot program, which makes it easier for employer to hire foreign workers. This can also benefit you if you want to utilize this pathway to immigrate to Canada. If employers are given more freedom to be able to hire foreign workers, that gives you more opportunities and gives you higher chances of being offered a job 
with an employer in the province of Nova Scotia. If you are interested in this program, you need to start with getting a job in Nova Scotia. Before we end this video, once you are ready to apply, there is a link here, which is the application page. All you have to do is click on this apply now. Okay. So the application takes around 60 minutes more or less for you to complete. So this is how the application page looks like. If you click on English, if you are a French speaker, you just have to click French. Okay. The first step is for you to create an account. Once you create an account, you can then sign in with your account credentials and then submit your application for the provincial nomination document for you to get a job in the province of nova scotia there are different platforms where you can apply for job but there are two of them that are very important where most of the jobs are usually published the first one is this nova scotia jobs which is a platform that is particular to the province of nova scotia so here you will find job opportunities in the province of nova scotia they also have an artificial intelligence cover letter builder which can help you to write a convincing cover letter for job opportunities you will also have the opportunity to upload your resume you can also create an account here so that once you have your profile updated on this platform it is easier for employers who are looking for skills in your area of expertise to reach out to you as well. So on this platform, you can see a lot of jobs that you can apply for as an international applicant. Finally, another place where you can find jobs in Nova Scotia is the Canada Job Bank, which is like the biggest database for jobs in Canada. The only thing you will have to do if you are looking for a job in Nova Scotia as an international applicant is that you make sure you apply two filters the first filter is for nova scotia so select nova scotia among the list of provinces so that it only gives you job positions in nova scotia the second filter you have to apply is that make sure you only look for jobs that are open to international candidates okay so it's not all jobs in nova scotia that are open to international candidates you can also apply that filter on job bank so that you don't waste your time applying for jobs for which the employers will not even consider you. So guys, we are dropping this information right here. This is another opportunity to become a Canadian permanent resident, and this does not require you to have an express entry profile. So check it out, guys, and apply for this particular program, okay? It's always a pleasure speaking with you. Have a lovely day. Thank you.